Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Mario and today I'm going to show you my top four favorite effects to do in Adobe After Effects. These are super simple to do, so let's just get right into it. I want a long life, a legendary one. I want a quick death and an easy one. All right, so that is the 3D motion track effect. Now this one is a super simple effect to do and it looks super good when you can pull it off the right way. And the way to do that is you go over to your effects and presets, type in 3D camera tracker, drag that onto your clip. Now again, I already preloaded it just to save us some time but once you've done that just hit the 3d camera tracker tab up here and then you're going to want to scroll through your footage and make sure that there's points if you can see these little dot thingies that's how you've known you've successfully tracked it so just scrub through your footage and you're just going to want to pick a target you're going to want to just hover over your your clip and you're going to start to see these targets and basically you just want to pick one that looks that would look good if there was text there you're going to want to pick one that looks real so I'm going to pick this one, hit create text. So once you've selected your target, as you can see it, the text is motion track to where we put the target. So what you're going to want to do there is click on your text and then use these little arrows and then get it to where you want it to be. So now obviously that is huge, but it's motion tracked. So that's pretty much the gist of it from here. You can just go in and then adjust your scale. So if we don't want it to be 5,000, um, we can just scale that down a little bit, 2000. And then again, you're just going to want to adjust it, pull the X arrow over to the right, zoom out. And there you have some 3d motion track text. Two, four, six, eight, watch this factory. So they have crown in my hand and I'll really play. So this is called the speed ramp slow-mo effect. First thing you got to do is right click on your clip, go to time, go to enable time remapping make a keyframe at the beginning of your clip if it doesn't already have one and then scroll over to where you want it to start slow mowing and for in this case as soon as he jumps is where i want the slow mo to start kicking in make a keyframe and then go to the part where you want it to start speed ramping back up which is right about there for me make another keyframe and then extend that just a little bit and then you're going to want to go and click on this graph editor and this is basically your speed graph now if you don't see what i'm seeing click on this little chart icon and make sure that edit speed graph is selected. Once you have that open, you're going to want to click on these little dots, raise that up, give it a ramp versus a hard cutoff. And then you should be done. If you guys want to cheat code, right click on this, go to frame blending pixel motion. This will give it a more smoother slow-mo. Now, if you do that and play it back, you should have a very smooth slow motion clip. Bitches calling my phone like I'm locked up nonstop. From the plane to the fucking helicopter. Yeah. Alright, so this one's called the color correction burst. All you gotta do is duplicate your clip, Command D, and then come over here to the Lumetri color and apply a color correction. I'm just gonna use a preset that I have. And then go to your effects and presets and then search CC lens. Drag that on your top clip where you just put your color correction and then turn down the size on it to zero. Scrub through your footage, pick the spot where you want it to, to burst, set a keyframe, go forward a few frames, and then set this all the way to 500. And there you go, CC burst. I want this drink and another one. And I'm troublesome, yeah. I'm a pop star. So this is called the scribble effect and it's super easy to do just like the rest but this one's a little more tedious but the first thing you want to do by dragging your clip duplicate it by hitting control D and then double click on your layer and that's going to bring it into the layer section. Next thing you want to do is hit this little paintbrush tool and then that's going to open up your paintbrush go over to your paint settings over here and under the duration I think this is originally on constant you're going to want to go to single frame. So once you've set this to single frame, you're basically going to want to go through frame by frame. So I don't suggest doing this on a long clip and drawing. Usually people like to outline people or objects, and that's what I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to make an edit here, go over a frame, make another edit on the hat, and then keep going on the hat. It was only about 12 frames, and this clip is... 72 frames so that's why i say it's tedious you're just going to want to continue to go forward and just make the little edits it doesn't have to be perfect i don't like it perfect i like it kind of sloppy i guess you could say and this is just the gist of it you could take this and 
and do so much more and that's pretty much the whole point of this video is to kind of just show you guys the gist of how to do things and then you know just go get creative and 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 try adding glows and, and all that sort of stuff that's something that a lot of people do so it looks pretty dope right if you want to spice this up just a little bit go over to your effects and presets and just search a glow i'm using the sapphire glow in this ink in this case and once you add that it's going to add it to your entire clip so what you got to do is go to your paint and then go to paint on transparent check off that box go back to your composition layer and then as you can see it adds that glow so that is pretty much the gist of this effect as you can see i only did a little bit because i didn't want to redo the entire thing that i uh showed in the preview because it is tedious it does take time but it's super dope and it looks super cool it's definitely an effect worth knowing how to do all right and that pretty much wraps everything up if you enjoyed please drop a like drop a comment subscribe make sure you stay tuned because we have some bangers on the way but until then we'll see you guys next time peace